Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. My name is Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through the week's best science videos. Now the platypus is the world's most famous freak, not least because it's a mammal with a beak that oozes milk from its skin and hides poison in its heels. But last week the genetic secrets behind its unusual nature were revealed. An international team of scientists has just finished sequencing the platypus genome and found, as expected, that it contained reptilian elements as well as newer mammalian features. But they also discovered some surprises. Although a platypus produces a toxin similar to a snake's venom, the genes responsible were found to be entirely different. We also knew that the platypus had a weird series of 10 sex chromosomes, but the team discovered that the gene sequence responsible was more like a bird's than a mammal's. The genome also contained the gene that determines gender in humans, but it doesn't determine the sex of the platypus. Next up, we take a look at how electromagnets could be used to keep satellites flying in tight formation. Researchers at MIT have been playing with mock spacecraft in the lab to test the new technology. To simulate the weightlessness of space, the spacecraft hovered on jets of air. Superconducting coils were used to attract and repel the vehicles and to get them to move from side to side. Currently, thrusters use gas repellent to keep spacecraft in formation, but they rely on limited amounts of fuel, which can restrict the length of a mission. This animation shows how the new technology would work in space. Solar arrays pointing at the sun would generate electricity to power the magnetic coils. Using magnets could allow for longer missions, although there are concerns that the electromagnetic field could interfere with electronics on board the spacecraft, or that the Earth's magnetic field could send the craft into a spin. OK, let's go out with a bang. Take a look at this simulation of an exploding star. White dwarf stars are often found orbiting one another in pairs. Over hundreds of millions of years, one of them will pull matter from the other star until this causes an explosion in its core. The burning can cause a supernova. This animation shows one of the ways in which a white dwarf can explode. Over the next year, a team of scientists will analyse three other ways in which these stars can burn. By doing more than a thousand different simulations, they hope to better understand how supernovas form. That's all for now, but there are plenty more science and technology stories on the website. For example, find out why rising fuel prices are bad for drivers but great for the climate. Or enter our latest competition by telling us how you think chemistry has changed the world. Bye for now.